this is what the ninth one in the series I've been talking about Ayn Rand and the reason I brought her up is that people think that or you know at least uh, many people who read my stuff think oh he's saying the same thing as Ayn Rand I think just like her and absolutely nothing could be further from the truth I mean we're total opposites and people can't understand that and if they can't understand that there's a lot of stuff they're not understanding about the rational scientific method about rational science about this channel that's where the problem is okay and that's why I want to clarify what's different between Ayn Rand and me and I've been talking about that in the last eight uh, videos today I want to talk a little bit about two subjects one is altruism and the other one is about politics something that Ayn Rand dedicated a lot of time to okay and uh, so first let's find out you know what her notion of philosophy is and uh, obviously we have n we don't see eye to eye on that issue uh, she called her so-called philosophy she called it objectivism and what what that that include uh, it included happiness morality productivity and what noble be noble or whatever good bad right wrong you know uh, all those are subjective okay and so uh, what's my criticism of that well um, here it is in a nutshell okay and uh, I'm saying that all she did was give her opinion she was recommending on how to behave okay and this has nothing to do with philosophy because philosophy according to rational science is one of the two branches of science and it uh, essentially we define it as rational explanations of behavior you have to tell me why for example right Caesar went to England why did he go there what was the reason what was his purpose and there are different theories okay and that's where science vibrates or you tell me uh, something in psychology or psychiatry uh, why someone acted in a certain way why he robbed the bank or whatever okay that's where that's where science vibrates explanations and there are different theories of why people do things why they behave in such and such ways that's the only way that philosophy can enter science because science is about explaining rationally whatever you do you have to explain rationally Okay? and we also already set the criteria for rationality in a couple videos ago so for those who have questions you just look them up